Hello and welcome to the Leander 98 channel. Today we are going to be showcasing the brand new 2017 Ford Raptor in this episode. But obviously, as you can see by the title, we are going to be making Baja suspension. Now, I've showcased this in another video. I just, just haven't made a how to make it video. But anyway, if you've been with the channel a while, you'll remember that car. But we are going to take this one for a test run to see how it performs. Study the suspension very well. We'll do a, we'll do a slow motion of it eventually. Here we go. All right, we're gonna pause here. As you can tell, the suspension is much higher than it was when we were on the ground. So obviously, the suspension has lifted. Now, obviously, by doing this, we're going to be having to get rid of the usual lift and raise part of the suspension when you hit the gas. But, in trade, we're going to be getting a much softer landing, as well as one that won't break the wheels when we hit the ground, as I'll now demonstrate. Going in for a weird landing, and nice and good. I know something broke, but I have no clue what it was. And now, perfectly drivable. So, how do we do this witchcraft in a little bit? Oh shoot, we still haven't landed. Alright, now that we're back here, we're going to take it for a little drop test. Hopefully we don't get... Good, okay. Gonna do a little drop test. All right, so now to answer the question, how did we pull off this wicked witchcraft on LBP3 with how it works so well? And it didn't break. All right, nothing over-exaggerating. Here are the two things that you're going to need. You're going to need, well, obviously, other than the suspension already made, you're going to need a piece of sticker panel or hologram, whichever one you prefer, and you need to have a impact sensor on it and it doesn't need to be tagged to anything just put on the piece of hologram and for me I have it tagged to a light blue track because that's what this piece of cardboard is set to so then the bodywork doesn't dig into it so need a little refresher on that you have your physics tweaker right here no preview is off gonna turn collisions pass the on to the can you just go this way Ignore? No, you want tagged object, or else, don't hit ignore, or else you were done for. Anyway, like I do, light blue. Do not set the track, and boom, shock lock, and there you go. But we don't need that, because we have something else. We have it down on the end of the track. Alright, so what we are going to do with this is, first, now if you have the wheel set up like I do, and you have a wheel bay in the back here, you want to take this, and, un and unglue it so then the tire is not rotating because this is going to be necessary for that cardboard strut bar. So we are going to take this and then glue it to our main suspension piece. If I can find it, here it is. Our main suspension piece there. So then now that wheel will not turn. We're going to then take this piece right here. Uh, ooh. Okay, find your piece again. I had made mine uh, not visible, but I'll take this off. Okay, now you can see it. Wait, you want to put it near the front. You want to put it in front of the middle of the tire, because if you have it in the back here, and the truck's rotated... Oh, it didn't, it didn't do it this time. Rotated here, that sticker panel will hit the ground first, so then the tire will compress down before it hits the ground. Alright, then bringing it back up here. Then obviously, glue it to only that main suspension piece. So, glue, glue. Alright, now here comes the part why we glued the tire still. So then we are going to take our strut bar. Actually, I gotta show you what's on the strut bar. First things first, a opacity tweaker so it's invisible. A physics tweaker so then it doesn't collide with anything inside the car and lastly a little hidden material tweaker to make this thing indestructible 
because you're definitely going to need something strong to take some harsh landings. So then, we're just going to ghost everything here, hopefully. I kind of needed that. Don't need the suspension bar for this, just a nice open end. Nice open wheel bay. And then, well, I'll make sure I get it nice and straight here. Place it on like that. Alright, let's see if it works. Slow motion test for this. Oh. And obviously something I didn't mention, because I tend to do that a lot. You take this impact sensor, and then you take the wire, and you put it onto your your piston. So, for your maximum length, you then want to set it to how far you want the wheels to drop down when the car is not touching the ground. And then obviously this is going to be your normal ride height. You want to make sure the piston's weak so then it doesn't take a really harsh landing. Doesn't matter whether you have it positional or directional, but I usually tend to use positional when it comes to my suspension. Make sure the reverse is off, and obviously you don't want it to be visually there or else it's going to lo not look too good. Then the spring, you want to make sure it's weak, and you don't need to set it to anything higher, but you know what, what the heck. I may as well do that for the same. It's practically the exact same for the front as it is in the back. So, do so. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Alright. What in bloody goodness happened? There's no reason for this, really? Or did it manage to reset? Oh. Talk about Little Big Planet pulling some sneaky business here. This happened earlier today. So, apparently, well, because I need to re-put it on, re-put it on, put it on again, I need to reverse it compared to this one. Yep, this is Little Big Planet 3 pulling the shit that no one likes. Alright, well now it should be working, probably when I undo. After this run, it'll work just fine. So here we go. We're going to do a slow motion run so that you can watch the suspension. So we're going to back it up here. How far can we go? There we go. Well, as you can see, now that the tires aren't touching, the uh, suspension is rather lit. What the? Wait, Sackboy can hitch stuff when? What is this? Anyway, it does. <sighs> Come on, this didn't happen in LBP2, but then again, we couldn't switch layers in LBP2. All right, I'll see you. Uh, hopefully, this helped you. If it did. Hit the like button and subscribe if you're new so then you can see some new stuff. I've got a couple ideas for one or two videos after this. So, hopefully I can get those out. Alright, I'll see ya. Bye!